guys and welcome back to Something Beautiful Salon. Today we are going to talk about hair extensions. Uh, <laughs> so I have been fighting a um, autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's in Addison's for a few years now and um, it has made my hair fall out. So I have become the master at clip in hair extensions, clip in hair extensions. So I'm going to show you guys today how to put these babies in. I wear them every single day and it's actually going to be really, really hard for me to be on camera and share with all of you guys what I look like with no hair, but I'm going to do it for you. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Here we are. This is my hair. It's a hot mess right now. Super short, extremely thin. Um, my ponytail is Beady, 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 beady. So what you will need is your hair, your lovely hair, and um, this is two batches, and I'm using the um, Remy, the color is Blonde Frost. You'll also need hairspray, I like to use Tresemme. I also bring on my Brilliant Shine Spray, I leave in moisturizer and heat resistant spray. So you're gonna need a comb. This was actually my grandfather's comb, I still use it, and a hair clippy. So you're gonna want to section your hair. I'm gonna start low and I'm gonna tease my hair. Use my hairspray. And I start with my very bottom one. These are curled just slightly, just because I, they keep their curl. So I'm going to shimmy the clip into the back. Sometimes I shimmy and kind of do an up down motion. Same thing on this other side. If you guys can see down the head. Put my hair down. So my hair is dirty and it already has a little bit of um, the tease in it, but fresh, clean hair, you're really gonna have to tease good. So then I section off another part right above the part I just did. So you're gonna still be able to see a little bit. And my, like I said, my hair is really teased. I always wanna add a little bit of hairspray. Again, we just shimmy them in. What I love about clip-ins is you can reposition them so if they don't feel comfortable, um, or if you wanna change your hairstyle, wear your hair up, wear it to one side, the other side, you can take them out and put them back in versus permanent ones where you cannot move them around. So there are um, two more shorter ones that are three comb, and then there's the longer ones that are three comb. I'm gonna put the longer ones in the center of my head now. This is the longer piece. You can see I'm just pulling up and pushing down. Make sure it's nice and snug and tight. If it's not, you can just unclip it. Shimmy again. Just keep going. I'm gonna put in uh, three, probably put in five rows. If you have thinner hair, you may not be able to put um, that many rows in. If you have um, thicker hair, again, you might not be able to put that many rows in either. I try to put in stack as many as my head will possibly allow because my hair is so thin. Now you see, I'm not teasing. Again, it's because um, my hair is already teased from when I had them in earlier. I just keep working my way up. We're almost to the top. This is the part where it gets tricky. I'm actually gonna double stack this row back here. I'm not gonna put, um, I'm gonna do it with the shorter one. I'm gonna tease, tease, tease. Spray. And then this is the littlest one. I'll stack this one too right up there. So you can always, these um, clips right here, 
they break, you can just take them off. All they are is sewn on. It's super easy to do. So now we're gonna do the little pieces to fill in the sides since we've finished the back. I'm gonna show you guys down the middle. See how sparse and thin it is still on the sides? So I have three pieces right here. These are all little ones. Again, where that one leaves off. I'm gonna clip it in right next to it. And this is the shorter one, and I cut this at an angle so it would blend in with my hair. And I'm not gonna put this one quite up here. You can see I have really thin hair. It's a little too weak, so I'm gonna do this one. See, I'm twisting to like get the hair tangled in there. I'm gonna do an angle. Fold the hair over. Sometimes I like to tease in here. And then just fold the hair over. Give it a little bit more volume. Into the side. So I'm trying to pull where the other one ended. Three. Same thing. I'm just gonna go see where this ended. My hair is super thin, so sometimes when it's super thin, they, they like to slide a little bit. So, a little extra tease, a little extra hairspray. So now you can see I have hair again. And then I just like to add a little curl. Especially the front, just to make it blend a little bit more. And once you put a curl in these extensions, they stay pretty good. Um, just don't brush it out yet. Just let it dry. Let the let it cool down before you brush it out. And now, see, this hair is a lot shorter right here. So we're just going to take a little bit of our extension. It's really hard doing this backwards, I'm not going to lie. And you actually should be using um, a heat spray on your extensions. This one's Chi. It smells pretty good. Hair extensions have the tendency to dry out, so a lot of times I use, um, well, all the time, the Ion um, Shine Spray to keep it from looking dry. So anywhere I feel like I need a little bit more hair, just add it in. The key to not allowing them to be visible is to really tease on top so when you lay over the hair, like right here, I didn't, it didn't look like it teased enough. Now when buying hair extensions, you wanna make sure that you buy the real hair extensions and not the synthetic and real hair mix. They don't take heat very well, they don't last very long, they dry out. These ones should last, depending on how much you wear them, if you're somebody like me who wears them every single day and night and sleeps in them like you're not supposed to, then they'll probably last you about six months, a year. It could, they could last you longer, but they do dry out though. Now if you want to wear your hair in a ponytail, you can move them around into different ways. There you go. And that is how you put in clip-in extensions. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and there are links to all the products that I use in the description and also on ashamillerartistry.com. So talk to you soon. Thanks.